Right now, rent is rising in Knoxville, but some relief is on the way. It includes a mixed income affordable housing community just east of downtown, and that project just wrapped up phase one. Tennis reporter Jacinta Rinder explains the need and the benefit. Jacinta. The name of the community is First Creek at Austin. I talked to one of the newest neighbors there who was able to move in before the construction was done on the complex. She's been in Knoxville her entire life and says this is the best place she's ever lived. It was time for a change and they changed it for the better and I need better. Audrey Johnson moved into the first new building at First Creek at Austin late last year from Walter P. Holmes, an affordable housing community in Five Points. I love where I live. I love where I live. It's like a condo. Like, I don't even like to come outside. She now lives just walking distance from downtown and says this is the best place she's ever lived. We want to provide that. I don't think that should be necessarily based on income. I think that everyone should have that opportunity. Formerly known as Austin Homes, built in 1941, this is a housing community owned by Knoxville's Development Corporation. Ben Bentley, their CEO, says this was an opportunity to keep affordable housing in a part of Knoxville that is growing. We feel like it's really important to reinvest in some of these older neighborhoods to make sure that we're preserving affordability so that folks that have lived here for a long time can continue to live here. While the first phase consists of 105 units, there are several perks, including a fitness center, pets spa and Wi-Fi in common areas to celebrate the opening city leaders and neighbors gathered for a ribbon cutting. So all in all, this is just a very exciting first step in introducing new housing supply to Knoxville. In Knoxville, I'm Jacinta Rinder. The next phase of construction is scheduled to finish this summer and the final phase starts in 2024 and will be done um, in that same year. The city of Knoxville invested $14.1 million.